Hi, my name is Jeff, and this is a video on how to set up your own CCIE rack at home for the CCIE lab. Um, as you can see there, uh, let, me, let me show you what we need to have for our equipment. Um, you're going to need two Catalyst 3550 switches. You're going to need two 3560 Catalyst switches. Um, you can use 2501s for your backbone routers. I have three of those here. Um, I also have a 2511 router that is the terminal server. Um, and I'm using Cisco 2611s for my, my routers. Um, so I have five 2611s and then I've got also two 4500 routers. Uh, one I'm using as the frame relay switch and the other one is router three. So I'll give you a little bit of a close-up here so you can see how it's laid out. On the top row, we've got a 3550 switch four. This is my backbone three. That's a 2501. Over here to the left, you've got another. Um, this is a 3560 catalyst switch one. And backbone two is going to be a 2501 router. Moving down to the second row, uh, I've got my access server on top. This is just a 2511 router. Um, these are very cheap um, devices right now. Um, I've also got the next 3550, that's switch 3. Then moving over here, we've got 3560. This is switch number 2. And also backbone 1 underneath that, and that's a 2501 router. Moving down to the next row, these are all my routers. Uh, these are all 2611s. Um, you can also use 2611XM uh, routers that allow more memory so you can upgrade to a later code. Um, but these are just the basics. So you got routers 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. And if you'll notice here, you've got these little serial connections. That's called a WIC 2T. And you've also got some like this one here that's a WIC 1T. So depending on how you want it set up, um, you can use the 2T or the 1T. And over here, you can use a 4500 router to act as your frame relay switch. And I've also got router 3 um, with three serial connections on there. So that's the layout. Um, okay, moving along to the cables. First, we have 18 crossover cables to connect from, switches, from uh, each switch. Then we've got 12 of the uh, straight through cables from uh, switch to router. Um, next we've got our our octal cables. You're going to need two of these. Um, this is one cable. It's just connected. Uh, that's why they call it octal. But uh, it's got eight connections and each one of these will go to the console connection on uh, each one of the devices. So you connect the other end of this, uh, the pin connection, into the access server. And then right here you have your serial cables. These are DB60s um, on one side, and then you've got the smaller end here that connects into the WIC module on the router. <clears throat> um, and this will be if you had a WIC 2T. They have these, uh, they could just call them a Cisco smart cable, I think. You can get them at cables to go. Um, if you don't have the WIC 2T, you've got a WIC 1T, and it's got DB60 connections on each side. So these are the older cables and this is what you would use. If you're using 2500 series routers for your backbone you're going to need something like this for the uh, conversion um, because on the 2500 router you only have serial connections on the back there so you need to be able to convert that into an RJ45 Ethernet connection. So that's all that is. Um, and these are usually free if you're buying a 2500 router from somewhere because it's not really needed for anything else. Um, this is a WIC 1T serial module. You'll probably need a couple of those or the WIC 2Ts. Okay, so now we have the octal cables installed into the access server and see how they just fan out. They go to each one of the networking devices. Um, you got one for all your backbone routers, all your switches, and all of your normal routers. Okay, um, so next we'll go and go ahead and install the serial connections. Okay, so now we have all the serial connections in place and every device in the rack, um, all of your routers here are going to have one serial connection 
that goes over to your frame relay switch, which is over here in the bottom hand, uh, bottom left hand corner. And then you've got a couple of these that have a serial connection um, to each other, uh, two routers having a serial connection, just so you'll have a back to back connection to practice with. Um, so next let's go to our crossover cables and we'll connect all the switches. Okay, so we're back and we've completed the connections between each of the four switches. Each switch has three connections uh, between each other switch, so that accounts for your 18 connections. Um, I went ahead and powered up the rack just to verify connectivity and make sure there's no faulty cables or anything of that sort. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm using the Internet Work Experts um, labs here, and so here's a picture of the diagram that we are um, you know that we're using and you can see how each one has uh, three connections in between each of the four switches so that's all we're doing so next we're going to do um, all these connections from switch to each individual router and you've got these here and then your backbone routers as well all right. okay so we're back and we just completed the connections to all of the routers from the switches and so now you can see here um, Switch 1 has uh, ports 1, 3, and 5 lit up. Uh, you got the same thing on switch 4, you're using ports 4 and 6. Uh, down here on switch 2, we've got uh, 2, 4, and 6 lit up. And I'm not sure if you can see switch 3 there, but we've got 3 and 5 lit up. Um, so that is all of your backbone connections. Um, and again, what we're using is Internet Work Experts diagram. And you can see in the diagram here, so, you know, router 1 just has one connection. Uh, some of them have two connections to each of the switches. Uh, and that just gives you a lot of different options when you're doing the different labs. Um, so this setup is specifically for Internet Work Experts. Um, but you're going to use about the same type of equipment if you're doing Cisco 360 or, I would imagine, IP Experts um, or anybody else out there. Um, you're going to have four switches in the lab and at least six, uh, six routers. Um, in addition to your backbone routers. So anyway, I hope this helps and I hope you pass. Have fun labbing.